information. And this ties in directly to kind of the general overall control, internal control methods or internal control types. Uh, really from a trivial standpoint, from a testing standpoint, it would be good to know these kind of general uh, categories of methods. We've got internal accounting controls. We've got operational controls. We've got administrative controls, organizational security policy controls, documentation controls, the facility or the physical premises controls, and controls over our data center and information technology resources. Now, with all of this terminology and all these different processes and, and this look at risk analysis and different types of controls, we can now take this information and we can segue into our next Nugget movie, but we're actually going to start looking at performing an information systems audit and the different processes that we would go through to perform this audit. In the information systems auditing process part one, we covered four key objectives. First of all, we defined auditing and auditors. We then looked at the audit planning process. We broke down risk analysis and then what it leads to internal controls. I hope this CBT Nugget has been informative for you. I want to thank you for viewing. We'll see you in IS Audit Process Part 2.